When you drive down the north side of small town Little Falls, Minnesota, tell me what you see. You see small businesses. Small businesses ranging from a convenience store, to banks, some cafes, a police station, to two prominent jewelry stores. One of which is the memorable Goldsmith Jewelers. Today, we're going to get to know Goldsmith as it is one of the finest jewelry shops in central Minnesota. Jeffrey Stumpf, a charismatic, dedicated, hardworking man, is in charge of Goldsmith Jewelers. Jeff has the virtue of waking up in the morning, preparing for a long 12-hour workday, and can just walk right into his workshop to begin a long day of jewelry repair. Well, my basic morning on a regular work day is I, I get up rather early. I like to get started before the doors open and the phones start ringing so I can get some, get some quiet time and get some work done before business opens up. And then I make my way into the shop and fire up the machines, you know, the steamer and the ultrasonic and get things warming up. Get my supplies out of the safe and, and just kind of get an idea in my head of where I want to start on this day. I have a big passion for jewelry. Every job that I work on, the end result is, is critical. When a customer comes in and picks up a ring and I get smiles, sometimes you get a hug and a pat on the back, and that, that's everything for me. That's, that's huge. Tar Smith, he was my father-in-law, and he was looking for some help for his, his thriving jewelry business. And wanted to find somebody that, that was teachable, would stick with them for the long haul, and hopefully groom this person into uh, someday taking over the business for him. I couldn't ask for a better mentor to sit next to. But before Jeff was ever even a part of the extensive history of Goldsmith Jewelers, it had been overseen by the man who launched the business himself, Terry Smith. This jewelry company across the street from the employment agency, had, a man had retired from polishing and another one had suddenly died. So there was an opening and without any skills at all in jewelry, they hired me. So I started out as a polisher and uh, did that for about six months and I worked into repairing rings and then uh, got into diamond setting. It was uh, one of the largest jewelry manufacturers in Minneapolis. 1973 was the year Terry, who goes by the name of Tar, launched Goldsmith as a trading shop. Alexandria is where Tar and his family grew up, and for him, it seemed like the perfect place to launch his jewelry business. I was starting a family and wanted to get out of the city and moved up to Alexandria to start my own business. Sandy came in and she did not, she knew about as much about jewelry as I did when I first started, so she was like a student. She learned so much the first year, it was like amazing. I loved working every day. I think I brought a lot to the business, very much experience in the executive world and uh, doing, being on committees. I had goals, I wanted the best for what we did. Throughout the history of the business, it has seen some employees come and go. Employees that make the workplace an enjoyable atmosphere and help the social side of Goldsmith, such as customer service and social networking. Currently, Kelly and Nancy are in charge of that. My employees, Kelly and Nancy, they do an awesome job. Nancy's been here for 12 years, I believe, and Kelly's been here for two and a half years and they are really good with customers and they know our customers by name when they come in and they pretty much know the style of things that customers want and how they want to be treated. Uh, my name is Kelly Laubach. Um, I work here at Goldsmith Jewelers. I've been here over two years. Nancy and myself, we, uh, uh, we keep the store going while Jeff is working. We help the customers. Um, if anybody's in the store buying or needs a repair, we're the one that help them. 
Tar and Sandy were both seeking retirement in 2013, thus leading to Jeff taking over the business. Tar wanted the store to thrive. We thought Jeff was just perfect. We talked to him about it. He thought it was maybe more than he can handle, and we worked worked out financing and uh, he worked with the banks and and it was a doable thing so. After I worked for Tyron Sandy for many years we finally got to the point where Tyron Sandy were very interested in retiring and moving on with their life to the next chapter of their life of rest and relaxation and having fun and not having the stress of having a business. Jeff was eager um, you know and I'm sure he had doubts you know gee can I do this all by myself you know. To date, the business has continued to be one of the most successful jewelry businesses in Minnesota. Not a lot of jewelers will have a great sense of humor like I do. We didn't give a thought to anybody else, no one, you know, we maybe could have sold the business to uh, someone else, but we thought Jeff was just perfect. He is one of the nicest people I know. He is kind, he is considerate and he is a darn good jeweler.